Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, so today I got an updated 60 card list for the Burning Abyss PK Orcus shenanigans. And um, let's just jump right into the list. Uh, we got free tour guide, one of the best normal summons. Then we got Terra Top, all the best starter because it doesn't take your normal summon, but it still gets you into your place. And we got the Terra Top. Then we got three torn scales. I don't have all three yet, but this card is stupid. Open this and a nightmare, as you've seen in the previous video. Uh, it does stupid combos, and now I've got some more cards in the deck, which it does even more stupid combos, which is a lot of fun. And we've got the Armor Knight and the Grepha to just to have extra normal summons and extra starters to facilitate our pay plays. Then I wrote a to search for one of these two scales or a extender. And then the last starter we got a foolish because it is just one of the best cards in the game. The best neg one in the whole game by by far. Then we've got free Kagamucha, where it does is when you normal summon level three special summon up, so you can chain block your tour guide uh, from Ash and stuff like that, which is a lot of fun. And we've got the danger package. Uh, just these three. You can play a Mothman if you feel you need to, but at this moment in time I think that this is all you really need. Then some extra level 3 extenders, we've got a Junk Forward, 2 Wielder, 2 Tracker, and then you've got the e tally for one of these four. Just 3 level 3 extenders, there's not much else to say about them. Uh, my thought process making this deck was to have as much just gas behind it, instead of worrying, oh, relying on hand traps, just try and push through all their interruptions instead of stopping them from making their interruptions. Then we've got a... Sabres as the last level 3 extender. Then into the Burning Abyss portion of the deck, we got the one liner which I've recently put in. Two Seer, one Graph, one Libic, one Scarm, and one Farfa. I only play one Graph because you only need the one. Uh, two Seer is very good. I like the Rhino because now I've got all these extra level 3 extenders. Um, Rhino plus any extender is the same as a tour guide, which is very nice. Um, then Libic helps get him out of the hand, Skarm, just Recursion and then Farfa for Interruption. Then with the PKs we got 3 Boots, 2 Cloak and then the 3 Torn Scale. Uh, then we got the Rank Up Magic, Shade Brigadine, 3 Fog Blade this time. So I wanted to boost this package up a bit so I can facilitate the scales more often and just get more advantage off of it and the 3 Fog Blade does come up a lot in grand games and they're just very co good cards in general where if you open up a cloak and a boots you can still combo off like crazy now into orcus we've got three nightmare two wand two skeleton and one gizmek um it hasn't really changed much don't feel like gears is that good in this deck just because you want your other summons to be more level three reliant and Gears who only helps this portion of the deck, which is a good portion, but it's just you play enough normal summons anyway, and I feel that this ratio is fine by me. And then the one crescendo and babble for the spells to set off for Galateo. Then ex extra cards we've got Reborn, Fearer, and a cool buy. Not much else to say. I'm tempted to take cool buy out just because it's a one of in a 60 card deck to stop hand traps, so Tempted to swap it for an extra level 3 extender, but need to do more testing. And other, basically everything in your deck is dark, so might as well. Reborn is just a very good card just to extend through hand traps. And the last package, who plays Dragoon? Not much to say. Uh, the only issue with these cards is now Dante is a lot more volatile, where you don't really want to be milling off of him first turn unless you need to. Um, if you draw this, or if you draw any of these, they're fine, you can put them back with Sabres. Um, and they're just decent cards, like, Dragoon's a good card, there's not much else to say on that. Then we've got, into the extra deck, we've got Vedante, Levier, Beatrice, Dingirsu, DFD, and Zeus as our XCs. Um, Tempts to drop Levier for IP, but... I feel that Livia comes up more often than not. 
or more often than IP that is, uh, for just facilitating plays and extending, instead of uh, interruption plays from the IP to go into Unicorn or something. Uh, Dante recurs all his stuff, so it just maintains hand advantage. Beatrice is very good, it's just everything else is a bit better than her at the moment. Uh, then Gearsu, very good, you make your VFD with it, uh, it sends a card, so that's it out to Dragoon as well. And you can pile it up with Lusty to then basically pop two cards, or pop one and send one. VFD, busted card, um, wins games by itself majority of the time. And then Zeus, haven't used it much, but it's just a very nice going second option, where you just attack with one of these, and you just rank up into this, and then you can either send the whole field, or just use it as an interruption of their turn. Uh, then we've got Cherubini, Gaetea, Verte, Warblocker, and Phoenix for our Link 2s. Um, Verte gets your Dragoon, Gaetea facilitates your Orcus plays, Cherubini facilitates everything else. Ball blockers there, because when you open any Nightmare you want to get out of your hand, so you just make a Genetic Link 2, which is dark, and it discards a card, which is very good. And if you mill a, a Babble or uh, Fault Blade, you can uh, bring it back with Ball Block, I believe, which is very nice. It doesn't come up much, but occasionally it will do. And the Phoenix is kind of mandatory in every deck if you can make it like monsters. Then we go into the Unicorn and Rusty for Link Freeze. Unicorn helps break boards, Rusty facilitate. It's a plus two to three by itself. And when then plus two and threes go into VFD and Fog Blades, it is just too good to not play. And the last two cards, we've got a Boar Sword and Dragoon. Boar Sword there for ending games real quick. Dragoon there because it is just a, it's a, it's a unit. You can't really deal with it half the time, and sometimes the Dragoon itself will just win you the game. Um, what hap oh. What is the worst thing for your opponent is when you have a Dragoon partnered up with like a VFD, or a Dragoon partnered up with things like, uh, say a Beatrice on the field with a Dante underneath it and a Dragoon. you got, say... No cards in hand, you go. Beatrice effect, detect Dante, add back Seer. Send any card. You can send things like your skeleton to get your Orcus plays going. You can send your Nightmare for next turn. You can send Skarm to search in the end phase. You can send Fafa for the interruption. Anything like that. Then you can add Seer back with Dante. Uh, then you negate with Dragoon. You pitch Seer. Seer then brings back Dante. And now you've, you've went plus one from negating a card and it's just it's incredible how much synergy everything has together and yeah it's been working out for me very well um need to fine tune a list but for what it is right now it is a very very strong deck just need to have other cards like droplets and sometimes talents just so i can bridge a gap to the uh, top tier meta decks just to help break boards and prevent them from setting up their own board but I recommend giving this deck a shout like just try it on DB or something just, just just give it a go it's a lot of fun to play and it makes some stupid boards um, if I can get a picture up I'm going to put one in the video now of some of the boards where it just makes out of nowhere and um, it's very consistent as well two level threes gets you going and if you draw a Nightmare or mill a Nightmare, and that's your Orcus play sorted, that means that you make your VFD. It's just a crazy deck. Alright guys, well, it's going to be a quick one. I'm going to try and limit the time on my videos from now on. Instead of doing like 50 minute videos, try and do within 10 minutes, just so you guys don't have to sit through all my explanations. So, see you next time I guess. Subscribe and take care.